everyone. If you're watching this video, it's most likely that you have either purchased or are thinking about purchasing the locks and keys kits from Bentley House Minis. When you receive your kit, you will have one sheet of paper, very simple, that looks like this, and it has three sets on it. I am going to start with the very first set. I'm going to walk you through how to put this set together because all the other sets are very similar. I like to start off by cutting off whichever set I am starting with and then putting the others aside to keep them safe. The first thing you're going to need is a craft blade so that you can cut through the small tabs that are holding each shape in place. To start out, cut out both shapes that are in the section marked with the number 1. These are going to make up the back of your lock. I'm using tacky glue to put these together and I highly suggest a small toothpick because these pieces are very tiny. I'm going to add the tacky glue all over one of the pieces and I have found an easy way to pick up the other piece is to remove most of the tacky glue from my toothpick. I usually just use my fingers for this and then it leaves a little bit of tackiness on the end just enough to pick up the small piece of paper and layer it on top of the other piece that already has the glue. Then I use my fingers to make sure that it is lined up as best as possible. The better the edges are lined up, the better my lock will look in the end. So now I'm going to take out all the pieces that are in section 2 and glue these together just like I did the ones in section 1. These are going to be the center part of the lock. I'm also going to make sure and add glue to those very small arch shapes at the top that create the locking mechanism. Make sure you don't forget to put glue there. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to add glue to my pieces from section 1 and glue the pieces from section 2 on top of that. Again, I'm going to make sure and line up all the sides so that everything meets as best as possible. After that's complete, I'm going to pull out the pieces from section 3 and then glue those on top of each other. These pieces are the ones that are going to create the face of your lock. Again, I'm lining them up and making sure that they're facing the same direction so that the lock hole is correct. Now I can add glue to the face of the pieces that were in section 2 and add the pieces that were in section 3 on top of that to complete my lock. Now I have a completed lock. I can remove the pieces from section 4 which is going to make up one of the keys. These are very delicate, so make sure to take your time adding glue and then adding each one on top of the previous one so that you end up having a key that is made of three layers of cardstock. I have found this to be a pretty good thickness for making a fairly realistic looking key. In this kit, you will get two keys that are identical for each lock. So you will do the same thing for the pieces in section five. They are exactly the same as the pieces in section 4, but they create a second key. So one whole section of lock and keys will create one lock and two keys. Now I'm going to work on the second set of lock and keys. This one is fairly similar. It's, well, it's almost exactly similar, except that section 2 has four pieces instead of three. This just makes a little bit of a thicker lock, and then there are some variables that you get to choose once we get towards getting to the end of creating the lock. I went ahead and glued together section 1 and section 2. These get glued together just like they did the first lock that we created making sure to line up all the edges. When you get to section 3, there is an option for this piece. If you want your lock to look like it has some inset screws, make sure you glue the top piece on top. And if you want it to have a flat surface, make sure you glue the flat piece on top. I want to have the inset screw look on top of my padlock, so I glued the top piece on the front face of my padlock. And here are the two keys which I glued together off screen. For the final lock, this one has a more rounded look. It goes together exactly how the other ones did. And again, you have an option for a variation in section three. You can have that reveal on top or you can have a flat surface base on the top of your padlock. And here are the final pieces with their keys. Now they're ready for some paint.
I highly suggest when you're painting kits that are made from paper to use the acrylic paint straight out of the tube and not to add any water. If you add water, it could cause the paper to bubble or warp. So I'm adding just straight acrylic paint and I'm creating a base coat of a flat color. And this is how they all look with the base coat on. And then my second coat of paint is going to be a metallic paint. Metallic always does better when it's on top of a base coat instead of just plain, a plain white surface. Of course, you can finish your lock and keys however you like, but this is how I tend to do mine and I really like how they turned out. All three of these are done with a different metallic paint and so you can see how they really start to look like totally different locks even though they're made out of the same exact material. These could be really fun in any sort of scene and as you can tell the locks don't actually open so I do advise if you're wanting to put them somewhere to get some kind of little jewelry finding or a chain link that you can link into the lock and that way you don't have to try and cut into the lock part itself. You can also put the keys onto some kind of ring. Here I'm putting them onto a string and I think when they're all different colors and all different shapes they look really fun together as a set and they could be hung by a doorway. Um, just all sorts of really fun things that could be done with these little tiny accessories. Once you have them finished I do suggest you put them in a safe place because they are so tiny they are easy to lose. If you're interested in purchasing this kit or another one like it, make sure to visit my website. The link is in the description box below.